Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. And today we're going to make a piece of jewelry out of some paper beads. Not long ago, I posted a video showing some of the paper beads I have made in the past and uh, three pieces of jewelry that I made with paper beads. Today, we're gonna to actually put something together and I wanted to show you these beads. They were in that uh, video I was just talking about. They were actually made of wallpaper. <laughs> this was the wallpaper for these. And if y'all want a video on actually how to make these, let me know and I'll see what I can do about that. It is actually quite the process, um, but it's, they're fun to do. So for today's piece, kind of what I figured we would do is uh, make it like make links and put them together. I've done several um, creations like that. So I think I'm going to use the antique brass wire to do that. And some other beads that I've gone through in my stash. I see a little bit of red in here and in a bargain bead box not long ago, I received these melon beads and I thought they would really look pretty with those. And carnelian is really pretty popular right now. So I've got some carnelian beads I would like to add to the mix. And then some Shiva shells. I think I'm going to put these in. I love these Shiva shells. They are really a lot of fun. And then I have one of these little squash blossom rocks. Looks like we have a lot of browns and kind of reds going on there. So I want to bring out a little bit more of the copper. And I have, um, I have some spacer beads that I think I will add to that mix in addition to just some round spacer beads here, also in copper. And then a variety of glass beads that I just picked through. Might just add those in. And then I have some more paper beads that were uh, made from quilling paper. Actually went to a thrift store um, that a local church around here has and somebody had donated some quilling paper kit thingies and I thought those would make perfect um, paper beads and I don't even have to cut them out. They're already all cut out. <laughs> Let's see what else. Oh and I have some sesame seed jasper and they're English cut. These might be fun to put in the mix. And I don't know if I'll use all of these beads. I, I was looking through my um, polymer clay beads that I've made and I wanted to use something that was in polymer clay but nothing really goes. I thought about that bead but I don't really know if I like it. Um, these might work, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe I'll just go make some polymer clay beads to put in there. But let me kind of organize these out and we'll start creating. So when you look at these beads, um, like I had said in my previous video, these are some of the first beads I made. They've been wrapped good, but when I glazed them, <clears throat> they didn't glaze like I wanted to, them to. There are several different ways you can glaze these. You can just paint the outside of them with, uh, with a glaze, but I actually want some of that to get inside the bead. It makes it a little bit more durable, but when that happens, you wind up where, I don't know if you can see this, see there's no hole there. There actually is a tiny, tiny hole there because I took a bead reamer and made one. And you could also drill. 
See, that's got a bigger hole. So when I go to make these beads, like these beads, I would, I would never sell them like this just because they are not, they don't look good. <clears throat> but I can make them look good on a piece of jewelry. And um, so basically, I'm going to put my wire in the big end and just feel around for that hole. And see, it came out. But first thing I want to do is I do want to add some spacer beads to this. And it will kind of cover up. It, they'll act as a... Um, what do you call them? A bead cap. So I'm going to go ahead and thread these on and then wire them where I have two loops on either end. And whoops, need to have round nose pliers for that. Where did they go? I keep picking up all the other pliers. Here they are. <laughs> um, I like to do a messy wrap. which does take a little bit more wire, but I just like the organic look of a messy wrap. And honestly, I think they're easier to do. I know some people don't think they are, but I do. And then I just need to tuck this little guy in. See, there's my little loop there. I still need to tuck that in a little bit more, but I'm going to go ahead and make a loop on this side, this end. Like so. Clip this here, and I'm going to go ahead and finish wrapping this and tuck both ends in. The next thing I want to wire up are these melon beads. And look what I found. I found some uh, leaves that will match perfectly with what I'm doing here. So I thought I would add the, the leaf beads and these little spacer beads and make some links. So this is what I have so far. And I'm going to have to get me some... Um, uh, what do you call them? Split rings. <laughs> My brain's just not all there today. But anyway, that's how I will hook them together. Let's see what to do next. So far, this is what I have. I went ahead and wired these carnelian beads up. And then I took the green and kind of the pale yellow quilling paper beads and wired them up and then the Shiva shells. So these beads I am actually going to wire up and make uh, two separate beaded chains. I'm finishing up this beaded chain. I've made two of them. There's one there. And I'm, these are glass beads, the clear ones. These other beads here, I'm not really for sure what they are. If I remember correctly, they came from a bargain bead box and they called them some type of carnelian, but I question that. Whoops. I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. <laughs> this needed to be on the clear one. There we go. Here, let me close this up and I'll show you a little closer look at these reddish beads. They're kind of um, like a satin instead of shiny like this is. So maybe it is a type of carnelian. I don't know, but I know it is a natural stone. So we've made a couple of chains and I have all these other things I've wired up. So I've got to figure out how I want to put them together and if I want to add any more. So I did a rough measurement and it's coming out, including the class, to be roughly 24 inches in length. So I don't think I'm going to add any more beads. 
I do want to see if maybe I want to add a, a pendant that you can take off and put on. So let me dig around and see what I have that might look good with this. Let me just put these out so you can see exactly what we have here. I went through and dug around in my stash of seashells and seashell fragments and I came across four possibilities. So we have this seashell fragment that might look nice. I could wire it up and it could be one of those pendants that you can either put on or take off. I have this seashell that might be a possibility. I have this one has a hole in it. This will be really easy to wire up. And then I have this one. I'm not really for sure which one I'm going to use, but I think what I need to do right now is go ahead and put all these beads together and then I can worry about which one of these I would like to use for a pendant or maybe just not have a pendant. So I've narrowed it down to two. This one right here, when I flipped it over, I realized there's purple in there. This is going to be saved for another piece. This one is really pretty, but I've narrowed it down to this one and this one. I don't really know which one. They both will be very pretty. And they both have a very different look to them. Which one do you like the best? Do you like this one or the longer, thinner one? Let's put this one on there. Of course, since this one, this shell is a little bit longer, it will hang a little longer. I don't really have the right shirt or neckline for this, but this gives you a little idea of how long it does lay with this seashell on it. And I can take this off and replace it with this one. Hopefully I'll get it in the right direction. There's that one. I don't know. And then of course this is what it looks like with no pendant on it. Makes a really nice layering piece. So one last recap of what I did. I started out with wire wrapping a whole bunch of different types of beads. We have carnelian, paper beads. This I made from old wallpaper. And then I've got some spacer beads along the way. We have a Shiva shell. We have some leaf beads and a melon bead. We have some more paper beads made from quilling paper, glass beads. And then these beads that I'm in question as to what they are. Like I said, it says that they were, they are um, carnelian. I question that. Maybe they are. They kind of look like red jasper, but I don't think they are. Whatever they are, they're pretty and they are a natural stone. We have some glass. And then I just added more of the same variations of those beads. I have a lobster claw clasp. And I made this, uh, just put it together with jump rings. And we can either put on, um, we can either wear it without a pendant or we have this seashell or this seashell. Let me know which one you like the best. I think I am going to list this in my shop, but I don't know which seashell to put on there, or should I just leave it plain? I'll let you help me out on that. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate it that if you gave me a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to my channel. Mostly though, I hope y'all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.